Morocco. I don't know if anybody knows that band. One of Australia's greatest world music bands. His mother, back in the um, back in the day, because he's a he's a good age, had a ukulele. Um, it was from Hawaii, um, made from koa, and not many of them survive. And he had one with a bunch of cracks in the side, and I dabbled with instrument repair. And he gave it to me and said, can you fix this? So I did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, French polished, back together, just amazing. There's very few of these left, and it's quite a valuable instrument. What amazed me is a very young person here, one of our absolute gorgeous friends, saw it in the room, saw the label and said, is that art? And I said, yes. It is a, it's a genuine Kumale ukulele. And so, with a little bit of convincing, he is going to play this thing, which is the first time it's been, probably been played in 30 or 40 years. Because oh, wow. <coughs> um, I certainly haven't played it. Um, so I gave it back to Guy and said, here's your mother's ukulele. He said, no, it's yours. Oh. And I was just, I was absolutely blown away. <coughs> But young Seamus is now about to walk through that curtain. <laughs> and he's going to play this and sing a song. So it's on many, many levels for me. This is just stupendous because this young guy is um, just amazing. And just wait till you hear this. <laughs> Do you want to Can you grow up? <laughs> Seamus, do you want a chair? Do you want to sit down? <laughs> do you want to stand, Yay! Thank you. Okay, today I'm going to play Why Would You? I said NJ. Huh? <laughs> You're standing on top of the 
available on our first album.